You guys can read this, right? But you really need to see it in effect for to really understand what it's doing, right? So, alright. YouTube, how you doing? So this is Ring of Chaos. We're in Replay the Spire. And you guys have seen Snekowise. Snekowise is crazy. This is like that, but even crazier. In fact, it just changes the game altogether. It randomizes the cost of the cards and card reward screens. It randomizes what they do in terms of damage or block. And uh, that's pretty much it. Which seems like it's minute, but when you see it in action, you're going to see how crazy it really is. It doesn't always randomize the cost, but when it does, it's like a completely different card. For instance, Iron Wave could become zero cost, nine block, four damage, etc. I had a Wild Strike that was two cost, 34 damage. Yeah, you get the picture. So let's go to a random common relic. We got a pet ghost and we got a Ring of Chaos. I mean, this is as far from the regular Slayer Spire as we can get right now. You can't see what it does. You, you, I showed it to you guys, but you will see in action. There's not, not much, I, I explained it. There's not much more for you guys to see. It, it, you have to see it in action. All it says is some cards rewards have randomly altered stats and effects. That's what it says. All right, let's go. Two elites. We keep getting pet ghosts. I guess uh, their game's trying to tell me something. So this is this is an instance. So whenever we see a question mark, that means it's got affected by the Ring of Chaos. So now it cleaves two damage, sorry, two cost, but it's 16 damage AOE. So that's pretty good. If you break that down, so upgraded it's gonna be 19 AOE. If you break that down, this is like it's eight damage for one mana times two. And if you make it like this, is around nine damage, 9.5 per thing. So that's really that's pretty decent. And we're starting off already with the, the chaosness. And boom. There we go. Now, what I really what I really like pet ghosts on the ironclad, as you guys can see, is every single thing that the pet ghost gives you exhaust or is ethereal. So you get you grab a funeral pain, you're just getting value every single turn. And I did that in the earlier run. We had a funeral pain with pet ghosts and it's to me it's probably the best. No, you saw the little thing flicker, that means we're about to see some chaos. Boom. Run through is now zero cost, the enemy loses five HP and two block. When you upgrade it, seven HP, five block. So upgraded, this is like seven for zero, which is pretty good, and five block. So if they have block, it's even better. But besides that, honestly, I've been really wanting to take Evolve more often because not only does this Ray Play Sprite have more statuses, I just feel like playing around statuses with like uh, Reckless Charge, Wild Strike, which might become great, power through. I, I think Evolve is really useful. Not to mention, there's a new relic called Chewing Gum. And Chewing Gum says, you gain one energy at the start of your turn, but if you shuffle your deck, you gain three slime statuses. So if you have Evolve, you can draw out those things, and then you do something like Abandon to get rid of the slimes anyways. So I was really hoping that I can get Evolve for that, right? Not to mention, Evolve is pretty good for the slime boss. Alright, let's keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So far, so good. Remove a card or gain 50 gold, 50 to 80 gold. Uh, I like, I always like to remove. Considering we're also about to get some chaotic stuff that are most likely going to be offensive. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to remove some of our strikes to replace it with some of the more chaotic versions. The guy with Chaos Emerson is going to get a more chaotic version. Uh, we're taking a lot of damage, but you know what? Potion can handle it. Alright, so Pommel Strike. What? So unupgraded is 18 damage, draw 2 cards. Upgraded is 19, draw 3, but just by this, I mean, it's expensive. It's two costs, but that's extremely good value. And if I get Snekawai on top of this, I'm actually going to get Snekawai on top of this, and that becomes free, but it keeps the stats. Yes, yes, yes. The A, what's up? Oh, 
Oh, what's that Shemai? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream, dude. And that's when we get some eggs alongside with this. We get some upgraded, uh... Get some upgraded Ring of really Chaos shenanigans. Guys, yeah, if you guys are here and you're just enjoying the stream, drop a like, it helps a lot. Imagine if Demon Form was changed. Oh, so Clothesline is 18 damage, 3 weak, right? It becomes 20 damage, 3 weak, but it's expensive, too expensive. So we're actually going to take the Funeral Pain. So you can argue Demon Form is really good, but nah, I'd rather like Funeral Pain <clears throat> because we have the Pet Ghost that's going to help our block situation. So we can either upgrade this to get that or do Funeral Pain, get the good block. I like this better. We got Searing Blow, Special Edition, already upgraded. So we got a head start. I'm not going for it. Demonic Infusion, upgrade a score or attack in your hand X times. What? What? This exhausts itself, unfortunately. But with Searing Blow, isn't this like a crazy little combo, potentially? So we gotta try this in the future. We gotta try this in the future. This exhausts itself, so if we have Exhume, that'd be really nice. So I can do this twice on Searing Blow. Not to mention, I already have an Arrowhead Searing Blow thing that I did for you guys. Hmm. It works for other things too, yeah. So it upgrades other skills or attacks X times. I'm curious to try this out, but it's expensive. Too expensive. I know, I know it works with other things. I'm sure it upgrades other things beyond they're supposed to be upgraded. Which is interesting to think about. But it's a little expensive for my taste. I'm a frugal man, man. I'm a frugal man. I'd rather just remove a strike. We're gonna we're gonna skip it for now. Oh, I just realized we're not in Ascension 15. That's unfortunate. So let's start with the Evolve. I'm curious to have crazy card draw. Because then we can just shoot doing some exhaustion against the Molten Egg. We just talked about this. Imagine getting an egg with Ring of Chaos. And there it is. Let's upgrade the Bash so that lasts longer. I'm hoping that some of these Ring of Chaos things will become cheaper. Um, the two cost things are they're, they're nice, but... Pricey. The magic of programming. Yeah, the fact that you can program extra upgrades is very interesting. Like, for instance, they already got Hemogenesis, which is um, is programmed very well. Like, I, I've noticed one thing in Slay Spire, uh, in Replay Spire, a lot of things are coded very well. They've added some mechanics. Like, they've added Malleable to players, which is very unique, as an example. They had this whole shielding thing. There's a brand new mechanic. Tricks the game to think it's not upgraded. That's awesome. I should have fully blocked because I don't have to sustain. And this guy doesn't scale, so you should always fully block. So I just asked for Ring of Chaos to give me something that, you know, is zero cost. And lo and behold, we have Twin Strike for zero. That's just eight damage, or four times two for zero. Very good, right? There's also Sever Soul, which is for one. Deal 10 damage, exhaust all your non-attack cards, which works pretty well with Funeral Pain. You know, and eventually Sever Soul could be used alongside like Power Through or maybe the Slime from Chewing Gum. Or even the Slime from this guy right here, which can be a really good attack and really good block at the same time. But I'm going to do this because we have a lot of two cost cards. So balancing that out with a zero cost card feels really nice. So uh, Funeral Pain and Evolve in particular are going to be extremely, extremely useful in this fight. I would be surprised if I take that much damage, right? Or any at all. I might have to take damage here, though.
I could use the potion, there's no need. Wow. Evolve. It's crazy. I just basically drew out all the days. Very nice. Uh oh, bag of marbles. Twin strike again. Yes. I'm loving these twin strikes a lot. Is this my infinite run? No, 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 Winwar. So, what's actually is quite the opposite. It's a regular run, but we have this thing called the Ring of Chaos, which randomizes the cost and stats of cards. So, if you look at Cleave. Cleave is, cleave, question mark, cleave, bubble strike, which gives you 16 damage for two mana. It's, uh, it's just a neat little mod. A little bit different. A little bit spicier. That's okay, multi. I see how you feel about me. You're like... Jeremiah is not gonna handle his under 15. Is there anything easier than normal mode? So we got close down for the weekend, Iron Wave, and just Warcry. I mean, I like the weekend a lot, but we're gonna have so many two cost cards. It's actually insane. The weekend is very powerful. Okay, we'll, we'll figure out a way to balance it. We get a lot of nice block out of Pet Ghost with uh, Funeral Pain. Oh, that's really good as well. Cool. And I want to just play Evolve just to get it out of the cycle. Those Twin Strikes are insane. They're doing so much work. Tori, very nice. Funeral Pain again. Again, that's going to be just a great way to get free block with uh, Pet Ghost. I'm going to upgrade it. I love it. I, I love that they really made exhaust cards even stronger. I mean, obviously, the last thing Ironclad needed was stronger exhaust cards, but since they did add like some exhaust mechanics, I'm not complaining because, like I said, I just love the exhaust mechanics. That's 12. So that's going to split. That's going to be 9. I'm not going to split. Well, well, hold on. I mean, I could just... I'd rather hold on. Maybe get some Fatal Pain Evolve out first. Let's see what we get. Shockwave. Alright, we'll, we'll keep holding on for a little bit longer. Maybe end up with like a, a cleave or a... Ah, this is perfect. Perfect way to hold on. Look at the damage. So Dino, uh, what's different is that they added they added a lot of new relics and, uh, and different cards. They also added um, a new bots. But for one thing you'll notice right now is we have this thing called the Ring of Chaos, which is randomizing all the cost and effects of, not all of them, but some card rewards will have the Ring of Chaos effect on it. Like Bludgeon, for instance, which becomes 2 for 13 damage, which is not that good. Which doesn't matter because we already have other stuff. And I think Barricade is going to be fine considering we have this Funeral Pain shenanigans with Pet Ghost. And Pet Ghost is like Metallicize a little bit, but even better. Because it could be, it could do something while exhausting. Or I, d I can do nothing with it, and then I just get 
eight block for free. So, very good with Ironclad. Almost OP and Ironclad. Now they double our strength, which is a consideration, but I don't have any strength. I'd just rather do Barricade. So, Curse Key, Runic Dome, or Runic Pyramid. I mean, the Runic Dome is probably safest, because we're not going to take that much damage with this whole Pet Ghost Final Pain Shenanigans. But I, I wanted to curse key so we can actually see what's going on, right? This isn't real, Rick. That's very deep. Are you being philosophical or what are you trying to say? This isn't real. I didn't Ryuk. What do you mean by that? I mean, we can talk about whether or not life is real or not. Dino, uh, Dino Janevsky, yeah. I mean, I hope I got it right. I I'm not always getting names right, though. Yeah, perfect, man. Alright, so this is a, a, a different clothesline. I actually like this a lot. It's 7 damage for 1, but it's too weak. It's like Sucker Punch, a little bit worse than Sucker Punch. Now, Thunderclap, on the other hand, is going to be 22 damage for 3 and 1 vulnerable. But that's a little expensive. But our clothesline is really good. We already have one clothesline, unfortunately. But I would have loved to take this one. It's just half the damage of clothesline, but too weak. I like it. But I'm doing flame. Hey, Juan, uh, Juan, you're welcome, man. Welcome to the live stream. So we can do barricade or we can just, like, attack his face. You know. The age-old dilemma. The age-old dilemma of attacking face of, uh, versus... Well, this is only starting relic, because this is usually a boss relic, but I replaced my, my starting relic with this. Okay, so Perfected Strike is probably the best card ever. Uh, we just get three damage and additional three damage for every card. The name strike in the name. Okay. On the other hand, though, Iron Wave is really good. So Iron Wave is seven block for zero and four damage. It's really nice. Hemogenesis is going to be twelve damage, eight block, heal twelve HP for three, and every time you lose HP while this is in your hand, you get... I'd rather do an Iron Wave. We're going for elites, yeah. I think we're, uh, yeah, we're down with that elite cause. You know when somebody uses your computer and, like, the mouse pad and everything feels all weird and different? Man. Okay. Boom. 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 Hey, hi, Dean, Shadowhunter. How was the wedding? Weddings are fun, man. Hey, thanks for the follow, Evil Pickle. Defy Death is absolutely insane. Alright, we talked about this. We get free exhausts. This becomes a nice little block, and... We have barricades, so it's going to work out beautifully. Mm, Panache is not bad. I would say uh, Flame Bear is not bad. King of Hearts. So whenever you lose HP during your turn, you gain twice as much block. So this works with like Hemokinesis, Brutality, things like that. Uh, that was an interesting relic. I think Strange Spoon could be kind of interesting. Actually, probably not ideal. So what I do want to do is remove a strike, first and foremost. I don't mind the Flame Barrier. 
And I don't mind the blinds, but we already do have clothesline. But this could be AoE weekend, which is very useful. Ah. I'm trying to see if Panache is going to get any value. I think it might with, like, the twin strikes. But whether or not we're playing five cards a turn, I don't know. We, we The five def is going to be cheaper. We can play Iron Wave, twin strike, twin strike. And that right there, you know, these are all going to be cheap cards. We might get value out of this, Panache. Not sure we need it. So against this um, champ, what we're going to do against the champ in particular, we're just going to get barricade out, scale up, and just attack. We're not going to really worry about anything else. The blind is not bad. I mean, if I can get the blind and the panache, and then, and then we're doing some stuff. It was boring. Okay. All right, uh, Eric, you got to lay down. Go for it. Hope you're uh, feeling all right. Keep playing better. I like the blinds. We actually, is there another shop? Maybe we can save our money? We'll save our money. Ah! What's up, Evan? How you doing, man? Good to see you guys. Ah, barricade. You're one off, my friend. Uh, remind me to upgrade Barricade. It's 7.30 a.m. You just like that? Oh. You've been up for a long time then. Cleave is just so good in this situation. Unfortunately, I can't do... I can't do the clothesline on him. We have a weak pot though. There's the barricade. We've been we've been looking for it. All right, so we're a little bit behind the barricade, but all right. So I definitely got to upgrade barricade. That's super important to get out ASAP. That's eight block. Just loving it. GG. So, Mummified helps me get the uh, barricade out. Well, this is five weak for three and 21 damage. It's a little crazy. I don't know if I need all that. Reckless Charge is not a downside. I mean, we're going to draw the days and get card draw because of Evolve and then get Block. I mean, I love it. Let's open the barricade. So, this is, uh, this is, this is a mo so let me replay this fire mod. And this is Ring of Chaos. This is Pet Ghost. All right, we got this. Ghost fetch. Let's see what this is. Life binds. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. That's gorgeous. I don't have Final Pain now, which is a little bit troublesome. There it is. Snack pack. So reckless charge becomes one for twenty-five damage, and the days thing we just talked about. Wow, wow, we wow, dude. Lumin evil is pretty bad, cause we don't like Lumin evil. I actually want to remove that if I can. But Reckless Charge is absolutely insane with its value. Mm, I think it's about time we play Lumen Evil just now. Get it out of the way. We need Barricade, guys. That's uh, number one priority. Yeah, that's extremely broken. I mean, you cannot not take that. Should have done bash first, huh? So we're in the dilemma right now where we barricade. If when it's at the bottom of our deck, it's you know 
This makes life a little bit harder. There it is. Cleave is fantastic. By the way. Reckless Charge is actually not a basic card. I knew that. It randomizes the numbers and the effects of the cards. The cost and the effects. So the damage could be different, the amount of weakening could be different, etc, etc. Strawberry. Eclipse. So I want to look at this. Exhaust your hand and replace it with random cards that cost one less than normal. Exhaust your hand and replace your cards with random cards that cost one less than normal. Refund one. So refund returns energy spent on playing the card up to refund value. So are you telling me I'm going to refund two energy by playing this? Can you explain refund to me? So does this mean... I, this, I play this for one energy? Or... Explain this to me. I feel like it's worded a little bit... Maybe I'm not... Maybe it's worded just fine, but... What? This is... Deal 4 damage 10 times pummel. That's insane. With strength, this is absolutely nutty. It's, it's, I get one energy back. It says... Returns energy spent on playing the card up to the refund. I guess it returns one back. Okay, so... So, it just gives you one back. So, is there something, like, cheeky about refund value that I'm not getting? So, so this basically does more damage with the electric blood because you're spending more energy, but you still get... It's like, instead of making it two costs, which would make electric blood better, you're doing keeping it three costs to make it more punishing for electric blood with these, these kind of mechanics, but then making it refund. Is that why see this refund thing happens? See you later, I will be going out to sea for four months soon. Oh. See you then, hopefully with a new PC. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I'll at least have a lot of catching up to look forward to. For sure, dude. Give Thank the you so challenge wheel a thought winking face, chow. I will, Frills. Thank you so much for a 1058 again. I'll give some love in the fact uh, chat for Frills. Frills has donated like 30, no, even more. Like $40 today for the new, new PC. It's helping a lot towards the new PC. Thank you so much, man. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be making content. I'll see you when I see you. I am going to get the challenge wheel of thought. Thank you for the support. Thank you so much, man. First, you got to play first, so it's a bit harder to play. Ah, uh, you also got to play first, so it's a bit harder to play. That's true. That's true. It also makes electric blood. So we got to take this pummel, though. I mean, this looks interesting. But pummel, I mean, this is insane. Let's get the gold. Yes, if it costs you, you can play more cards before. Yes, I, I I can see that now. I can see that now. Cleave, by the way. Also, the point of Snake Eye. There's also Snake Eye for the refund. Uh, there's Snake Eye for the refund. That's true. I uh, there's also Electric Blood, which is something that is also something that we can consider. I found a lot of synergy with Electric Blood when I was playing this the other day. <clears throat> What's crack? So Trigger's probably really good with just a uh, few more that I have. I'll take it. Ooh, so we have a lot of gold. We're looking for something. So this is interesting. Add six ritual, ritual components. Add six ritual components to your discard pile. If five are ever in your hands at once, they become 42 damage attacks. So this is. I'm assuming with Runic Pyramid, this is something that can come alive. This also. Maybe with holograms. I'm not sure what else we could do with this. Maybe uh, well laid plans. I, I know holograms, there's well laid plans, but it's also, I, I guess, the Runic Pyramid. I think the Pudding Cup is really good. I like it a lot. I like Battle Trends to help me find Barricade. I like Gambling Ship to help me find Barricade as well. I'm gonna build my PC, Udwin. I'm gonna build PC. Um, but considering all the PC parts that I'm gonna get that can do streaming, 
while recording and, and playing games and video encoding and po processing and post-processing, you know, considering buying like a, a, a decent CPU, you know, the tower, a decent GPU, the motherboard, the RAM, the, the, the hard drives, the PSU, it, it, 1500 doesn't seem too unreasonable. I, I mean, a thousand is also good, but 1500 doesn't seem too unreasonable. Oh, all the costs are zero, so this is broken all for one. Wow, wow, wow. So we're going to do uh, this for Finding Barricade. We don't even talisize because we have Final Pain Shenanigans. And we can remove the curse, which is pretty bad. But now that we have True Grit, we don't care as much. Because I still want Battle Trance. Because Battle Trance is going to allow me to find the True Grit and Illumin Evil together. And take care of it like that. So I don't actually mind. So now I got Barricade. That's beautiful. If I was cheeky, I probably could have made it so that Defy Death was... Uh, Playable. Okay. The Battle Trench is an amazing card. And now, once we have Final Pain Barricade out, pretty smooth sailing. Thank you, Is this Ryuk. real? It is real, Ryuk. It is, man. Thank you so much for the support. 1363, thank you, dude. Open towards the PC funds. I spent 1500 a few months and I have an i7, an E700K, and a 1070Ti. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily have to get a 1070Ti. For me, CPU is more important. So right now... Yeah, I think CPU is more important for me, but... um, Those are very good. That i7 8700K is fantastic. Your GPU is fantastic, which is, you know, expensive, but... Netflix and Charger Mind Show. Mmm. Well... I don't know. It's up for you to decide. Do both. So this is Dropkick with the Chaos Applied. It's uh, 16 damage for 2, and... I mean, a lot of these cards are expensive. If I have Vulnerable, then it's not that big of a deal. It's actually... So basically, this becomes one cost if I have Vulnerable. This becomes 16 damage for one if it's Vulnerable. So it's 16 damage for one and draws a card. That's pretty good damage, but I think we're good on damage. So I'm going to skip here. I don't mind another Pummel. Because it does exhaust and stuff like that. No, but we're, we're good. We're totally good. Now, I don't even need to rest just because this guy is not going to touch me. So I do want to upgrade the True Grip. Yeah, and I think St. Uh, Udwin, I think St. 500 was a little bit... I don't know. I, I don't think you're... Like, I know you can... I'm all about being frugal and, and getting the most bang for your buck, but $500 for a PC that is, like, going to perform well with streaming and playing games at the same time and the video processing and stuff like that, $500 for everything that I mentioned, PSU, motherboard, GPU, CPU, cooling system... I, I think you're uh, underselling a little bit, and I, I built my own computer, and uh, so I've, I've been in the market. I've done it before, so I, I know the prices. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that was an accurate estimation, in my opinion. So we don't want we don't want to attack it too much, right? Because he sets a 210. We want to try to get as much block as possible. So Udu, when you can stream for long hours and and process gigabytes worth of uh, video files and stuff like that, and I do all those things reliably well with that computer, then then we can talk about that. And I would, I would like to see what you built. 
but I've, I've built a computer that is better than that and it, it has issues with certain things. I'm not trying to be like that, but I just I feel like uh, it's unrealistic, man. Like, like a good SSD alone, a good SSD card alone is already getting a big chunk of that out of there. Like thirty dollar PSU. So what what kind of PSU are you buying? And the motherboard for thirty, and the case for thirty? I don't know. It's just I'm glad you got a nice budget computer. But if that budget computer can do the things, all the things I mentioned, then okay, we can talk about it. But. It's doubtful, man. It's doubtful. And like I said, I, I built my computer, so I, I know the prices. Yeah, I'm building from scratch. How about an event that turns your entire deck into copies of whatever card you picked from your deck? That's... A crazy event, which I don't know. Mm, that event. Uh, we can start pushing it. I feel like we have. Yeah, we're good. We're, we're good on block. I mean, it's not the best amount, but this is going to be a nice little boost, right? We're going to have to block here. We got the weekend. We have a, a free turn here. It's, I'm very. I doubt he could do much now. Well, I use PC Part Picker. That's what I use. Let's get the weekend. I, I think we're just we're, we're we have different things in mind. We win. I use PC Bar Picker, which tries to find the best prices across all kinds of uh, dealers. A fine, a 40 euro SSD with 100. <laughs> okay, so we got, we do want to try Demonic Infusion, right? Obviously, offering is much better. Offering is fantastic. But this, we got to try this, right? We got to just try this out. So what, what would be a good target for this? What if I do Funeral Pain? I, I want to try this on Funeral Pain. I'm extremely curious to try this on Funeral Pain. So Market Pain is not a big deal, because we do have True Creature Manage it, and we also have Evolve, so that's fine. Astrolab could be interesting, just to kind of get rid of the rest of the strikes and the defense. So I'm not too worried about the energy. I mean, the energy would help a lot, but we have Mummified Hands, right? So, eh, we might as well do Astrolab, get rid of this stuff. Yeah, let's do it. Even though I don't mind Market Pain. We got Trigger, which is fantastic. The Combust, I might get rid of it. The Cyber Soul might get rid of it too. Alright, so let's see if we can upgrade a Final Pain. I'm very curious. Well, I know you can upgrade all the cards. I just want to see what happens. I'm going to prioritize the shot because I do want to hit a uh, removal. It only works on attack and doesn't work on powers? Oh, then I immediately regret this. I regret all my choices. This doesn't work on powers. Oh, it says it in the thing. Upgrade to score attack. Can I try it on Twin Strike? Okay. That's pretty good. I think we... I think I was expecting a little bit more, but I mean... What, what am I really expecting? This is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. I, I know, it says it on the card. It says it on the card. I know. I was uh, distracted. I don't really want to play that, but... I'm going to try it on Pummel next. We have a lot of different things we can try. Uh, 
Heavy Blade one costs affected by strength twice in seven damage. So this becomes kind of like like a better twin strike, like the normal twin strike, or is it the same as twin strike? It's not even the same. I guess it is. Yes, Sentinel is not bad. We can get some energy off of it. Let's do it. It's important for me to get barricade ASAP, always. So let's do my infusion on uh, Pommel, see what happens. Okay, for some reason I thought it was going to be like much more ludicrous than it is, which I don't, uh, that's just my expectations. That's just my poor expectations. But I also didn't do it for like full energy either, right? I gotta try it with like a, a lot of energy. I also gotta upgrade it. So, Sword Boomerang is- What the hell? Is this card real? Is this for real? You can't be serious. This card is broken. What? Now I gotta do the demonic thing on this. That's the stupidest card I've ever seen, and I love it. That is 130 damage by itself. Not to mention the vulnerable strength that you might have. Which, by the way, the Ironclad has a lot of access to. So I want to do this, because I want to actually get True Grit Sentinel, just in case. Dude, this rubber ring is insane. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there. What the hell? That's the thumbnail. We got, we got to upgrade it, too. We, got, we can't end this fight without upgrading it. Very much the thing in Legends. Okay, so I'm, I want to. Right now, it's a zero for 130 damage, right? But we want to try upgrading this. I want to see how crazy this can get. We could do demonic and pummel, right? But you no, know, we, we we can't we made up our mind. We wanted demonic infusion that thing and see how crazy it is. It's gonna be hard to find it. It looks like we're gonna have to start exhausting some of our cards down. That's the best bet that we have. Oh, also by getting days, you know we are. Uh, we are drawing more cards, so there's a chance that we can find it right now. Ooh, there's a chance we can find it right now, because we do have Battle Trance. So this is probably the moment to do it. No, but I'm wasting energy. Ah, I wasted energy. Okay. I'm glad I didn't find it. I'm trying to find this, this combo. gonna happen I believe Eesh. so I tried to draw oh okay you know what I wasted all the time we'll find another fight don't worry about it don't worry about it don't worry about it don't want to solve thing uh funeral pain again is just gonna be broken whoa isn't this really good with what we we're just trying to so we can potentially get 
demonic infusion, chemical X, and then upgrade this turbo ring to crazy effects. I kind of want to try this. This is like the ultimate combo. Ah. Although, obviously, I do want another Funeral Ping against the Nune Deca. It's going to be free low. Ah, ah. Ultimate defense is not bad either. It gives us dexterity, armor, shielding, and artifacts. Not to mention it's a power, which makes it Mummified Hand. Or I can make this free because of Mummified Hand. This is really good. But you guys want to see the Chemical X just to see what happens? Take it all the way. We're doing it. Bug it. We're not trying to play optimal. We're trying to, trying to see how crazy things can get. Matter of fact, we're going to look for it on the first turn here. Never mind. We're not. I'm not going to find it. kill some of these so they're not like bothering me a little bit. Alright. Demonic Confusion. Oh god, we got it. We got it. Oh my god. I gotta see what happens here. 12 times 18 for 3. We can make it even crazier. We can get it even crazier. I'm not satisfied. 12 times 18. I like it. Let's use it. We, we keep talking about it. How about we use it? So this does, whenever a power is played, a random card in your hand is cost zero. So powers are a nice way to mess around with energy. Oh, it was already in the game? Really? That's awesome. If I had ice cream... So the next step is to get ice cream. Wait, that's the next logical step. Ice cream and, and take this to the next level. Alright, I just want to see how this works. Smack. Okay, it's going to be magic, but on the boss, it's going to be nice. Zero for six, I like this. I like Defy Death as well. We're definitely going to Defy Death value. The question is whether or not I need it. Matter of fact, let's upgrade, the, let's upgrade this so it's even crazier. And we should also upgrade our um, Battle Trance so we can find Barricade. There it is. I'm gonna get rid of the combust. No, I mean, if I get ice cream, I can make it really crazy, but I'm not. <laughs> I really like Defy Death and Abandon it, and just, I really like the fact, I mean, I just love, I love, uh, exhaust mechanics. I guess we could use it, well, we can, we can hold on to it, we can, we can get some more out of this. Alright, let's try it on Flame Bears. Let's see what happens. 40 block when you're attacked to deal 18 damage to the attacker. That's insane. 40 block for 2. But that's like impervious. A little bit like impervious. A little bit. No, oh, it is impervious. For 2. And you do 18 damage back. And it doesn't exhaust. So you can keep playing that. That's really good. 
And this right here is, I mean, a finisher in itself. It's ridiculous. I love it. Milkshake. You could stand up to five energy between turns. Whoa! I use this. It's like my little ice cream. And that right there is going to make the demonic confusion insane. We add Bloodling to the mix. I, maybe, I like Warcry because Warcry can help me set this up. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Testing? Testing? Yeah, the computer crashed. Is everything good? Is it, like, it made a new video, didn't it? Ah, damn. I have to open the game again. But I gotta make sure the temperature's okay. I'm not sure. Hashtag new PC fun, guys. At least this has been happening a lot recently. I definitely, uh... Yeah, I, I want to be... <laughs> I want to prevent this from happening, you know? I, I'm going to keep track of the PC and its temperatures. But... We should be... We should be okay for now. Alright, we're in the thick of a really nice run. We were doing like some demonic infusion shenanigans, right? Okay. So let's continue where we left off. It's not going to have saved properly, really? You sure? It looks okay for now. Let's 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 see. It doesn't like closing or reloading, really. No, my epic sword boomerang. We were gonna. No, shit. We had such the such an epic. No, there's still hope though. There's still hope, right? Because, look, we don't have the pommel strike for a card draw. Oh man. Nah, the cleave is worse. Everything's everything's worse. But look, 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 look. Now, 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 all this lost because look, we can find a super ring again. We can find a super ring again. That's unfortunate, right? We were setting up this massive milkshake plan bonanza. The iron wave was. Look, the deck actually is probably a lot worse now because the reckless charge is no longer as strong. We'll roll with it. Not much we can do about it. That's unfortunate, though. Man, we had the legendary boomerang. Like, you only hear about it in folk tales, right? Man, I saw that one time. That boomerang was out of control. I always that I was in that moment, but uh, we lost it. So let's try this. Just want to see what happens if we uh, upgrade this. Twenty-six block. Feels good. Feels pretty good. I mean, it's pretty good though. It's still pretty good to upgrade cards like that. It is sad. It is sad. We lost the Legendary Boomerang. You used to be something incredible. What happened? I mean, I like upgrading blocks because just like having that much block value for this feels pretty nice. I gotta get rid of Combust. We don't like Combust. But we can probably find it again. It's okay. It, not all hope is lost just yet. I mean, it sucks that, uh... I have these... Cards that I don't really... Like, I don't really want Iron Wave. But it's still okay. Golden Egg! Interesting. We got Brutality, we got Armaments, we got Rupture. Brutality will be upgraded and we get a lot more card draw, which would be help us find, just do more shenanigans with our exhausts. I don't mind Brutality. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's take away this. Hallucinations. Add a random card to your draw pile. So that can add for Golden Egg too, right? Ooh! Get a rare relic, upgrade all cards, or... Or heal the fool. Let's get a rare relic. Yes, piss scenario. We're gonna... We're probably gonna finish up here soon though, as well.
Oh, we didn't find our uh, barricade, did we? No. Nope. Hallucinations, what do you got for me? Thunderclap. Ew, we gotta get rid of you. Hallucinations, you're killing me. You're killing me, hallucinations. So, pummel is a pretty good upgrade, you said, right? Let's see. Two times ten? That's not bad. Go for perfect. No reason to go for perfect, actually. 60 damage. It's pretty good. I was gonna go for perfect, but I just, I just saved that mine. Oh, we, are, we still get perfect. Let's get rid of Booming Evil. Let's get rid of Combust. Let's get the Weaken again. We still don't have Barricade up, which is gonna help immensely. There it is. Speak of the devil. You could have been something great. Yeah, I think the cur the hallucination is probably one of the worst. I mean, it, they might have some benefit to it in, in another way, but most of the time it seems pretty bad. Oh, we gotta do this. That's just great. Hallucinations. Alright, let's see what we get. Sundial. Okay, that would have been pretty good with what we could have done before. I like the card draw here. So far, I haven't seen any more Ring of Kiss. Is Ring of Kiss not going to work at all anymore? Is that I just ruin it for good? Oh, I should have played Brutality. Whoops. Ugh, another combust. So what happens if I do it on Burning Pact? It probably gives you a whole bunch of card draw. What happens if I do it on Battle Trench? Does it draw my whole hand? I'm just curious. I might, I might get killed for this. That's what see what happens. Draw 10 cards? <laughs> what? Okay. I, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I just wanted to see it. Yeah, I see, I see that they got changed back, but I'm, I'm hoping that it still works in general. Draw 10 cards on Battle Trains. Feels good. These burns, though. Ugh. Oh, we got it. We got it again. Uppercut. Eh, it's not the same. Give me, give me the old stuff. It's not bad. Nah, we're fine. Chipping. Okay. So, Massacre, Bronze Scales, 2 for 1 Combust. They really want to give me this Combust. I don't know. I, maybe they value it differently than I do because I do not like it. I'm going to get rid of the Hallucinations. Although, to be honest, I could always True Grit this stuff. Which, by the way, I probably want to get another True Grit, because my deck is getting kind of big. Oh, I have two True Grits already. Yeah, we'll get rid of Hallucinations. Upgrade a card. Uh, Battle Trance is about time. Because Barricade is pretty important to us, and we're just going to rest a full. Alright, let's see what happens here. Boys, we gotta get, do we have Artifacts? I don't think we do. So we're looking for Barricade. I am going to keep it Brutality, because I like the card draw. I guess I could do Dexterity, huh? Just to stay alive. Uh 
And this is to the end of combat, so I might as well just hold on to this, to be honest. And I, this does 20 damage, but I'd rather save the energy. So let's get rid of... Let's do Evolve. Let's get rid of Iron Wave. Let's... War Cry. Okay, we want to get rid of Combust at some point, but... Let's see what we draw. We got Barricade, that's perfect. I wish I could do Weaken on him. Since I don't want to take any damage, I'd rather do Defy Death. But then I'm not taking care of his artifacts. Amnesia! Exhaust my whole hand! Wait a minute. So, Demonic Infusion on True Grit. Can I just see what's gonna happen when I do this? I'm very curious. 21 block. Feels good. Feels pretty good. Okay. That's a, that's a true grit that's beefed up for sure. Do we want to exhaust our whole hands? I mean, I could use this to benefit me. But I like... I, I don't want the cleave. I can get rid of the cleave and leave the Misha. I might as well play the cleave though, huh? I can just get rid of Cleave. But then I'm not doing any damage. I gotta keep track of the fact that I'm not doing damage. Oh, that's a that's our beefy true grit, right? Can't forget about that one. This could have been insane. Oh, I think it's about time we get rid of his artifacts. Let's do that. Sentinel here. Let's get rid of things like Severed Soul. Even though it could be useful, I'd rather not have it. Maybe refresh with the crash. I'm probably gonna end soon, unfortunately. How long were we laughing for? I think we were alive for like three or four hours. I can't not play this. This is like the beefiest defend ever. Bust, you gotta go. Couldn't have done it without the uh I couldn't have done it without Decca giving me all these these days. Decca's the true MVP. Let's keep getting rid of some of the like some of the stuff we don't like, right? Like uh I don't need two twin strikes. But I also don't need this defense. And I guess I don't really need the pommel. I mean, it helps, but... I guess I don't want the defense either. I just want to make the deck super small. The deck is pretty small as it is right now. I guess I can get rid of the inferior true grit. <laughs> There's a new true grit in town, and he's got 21 block. 
How'd you get that big? That's insane. Son, there's a magical ritual and it only happens once. I was just in the right place at the right time. But what about that guy? We don't talk about that guy. All right, let's uh, just finish it off as us. GG. GG. Oh man, this could have been crazy, guys. I mean, it was already crazy to begin with, with the Ring of Chaos. We had a lot of fun with it. But we had a 10 times 13 Sword Boomerang. And we were about to do Demonic Confusion with Chemical X to make it potentially like 10 times 20, 10 times 22. A 220 plus damage card by itself with no strength. Unfortunately, a crash happened. It ruined our dreams. So we can just imagine what could have been, all right? Together, we'll do it together. A moment of silence, please. But for the most part, we loved it. We loved a lot of these things, right? I mean, you guys already know, I've said it so many times, I love the pet ghost on Ironclad. It almost feels like I'm shooting.